how much money worth of cards do I own? So I've been collecting cards for about four years. Today, I'm just gonna be going through all the prices, starting with the cheapest decks and ending with the most expensive ones. So let's go. So I got my pad here to tell me all the prices and how much they're worth now, because as you can see, I have over a hundred decks and there's no way I could know all of the prices off the top of my head. So starting with the cheapest ones, which are actually the kind of free ones, or at least I got them for free and the person I know who gave them to me got them for free as well. These cards were given to me by my grandfather who got them for free. These cards were also given to me by my grandfather. They're just these random bridge size cards. And also these magic cards. These magic cards were in a magic carton, but I don't have that carton anymore. And these I got from school. It comes with some other magic cards. Both bridge size don't handle great. I found these Dexter Axel cards. The Science Bowl cards I got from participating in the Science Bowl at my school. And these Aristocrat Casino cards were free because they are hole punched and the box is completely torn up. And finally, these cards I got from my grandfather as well. They've got cut corners, so they're at least on the cheap side. I don't exactly know if they were free, but they were also from Las Vegas. As well as these, which have cut corners on a single corner. Now moving on to the cards with a whopping $1 price point. We have the Cartamundi Classic cards, which is one of the first decks I've ever bought. I actually dropped them in the ocean. They're kind of ruined now. The Maverick cards and Monte Carlo cards are also $1, which is a very fitting price because they are some of the worst cards I've ever handled. I just found these at my house. The McDonald's face card fun cards. I would put these at like a dollar because technically you still have to buy a Happy Meal to get these cards, but also not very good cards, just bridge size. But I actually made my second video on YouTube with these cards. Next up, we also have the Ace Authentic cards by Cardamundi. I bought these with the classic cards, but these were $2.50 at the dollar store. Other decks worth $2.50 are of course bicycle cards, red or blue, but these, the box is special because I got it signed by Lance Burton at a magic show that I went to, which I thought was pretty cool. But pretty much all bicycle decks are roughly $2.50. So I have both red and blue bicycle decks, six of them, but I also have these pinochle cards, which cost me $1.50. And I also have three more red rider bag bicycle cards, which in total cost me about $18, so $6 each, because that was a special bundle of a Svengali deck an invisible deck and just a standard red rider back deck that's why it costs a little more and i also have these blue seal bicycle cards not sure how much these cost because they're a lot older but we'll just count them in that's the same price because i'm not really sure and then all the tally ho cards i would price at about 275 i'm pretty sure i buy a 12 pack of these and that cost me about 33 dollars next are the aviator cards these are about three dollars i bought a red deck but that deck is literally resting in pieces. And I also have this blue deck that I found at my grandparents' house. This was actually my first deck of cards. And also someone generously gave me these more brand playing cards. These are about one to two dollars. So now moving away from standard cards, we have more custom bicycle cards. These bicycle vintage cards are about five dollars. And the Stargazer are about $5.50. I bought both of these cards solely to give them away, so that's why they're still sealed. And this bicycle web deck I randomly found at Walmart for about $5. And I found these bicycle amplified cards for about $6. Uno cards. They were probably $6. And let's not forget, even though I did forget, these $5 jumbo playing cards that my crazy uncle got me last year for Christmas. I can't play cards with these, or do magic trick, or do clear streak, but they sure do look pretty funny in my tiny little hands. So now increasing the price a little bit more, we have knock playing cards. So I was able to get two of these decks from 52 cards. Their original price was about $8, but luckily it was Black Friday sale, so I actually got both of them for $4. And then moving on to what is probably the most average price for a deck of cards, $10. So I have three of these palette decks. Now the first one I got for its $10 price, but the other two I got from Black Friday sale, so they're actually more like $5. And pretty much all Theory 11 decks are $10. However, I got all the Harry Potter cards and all the Star Wars cards as a gift for my grandparents. Now all the Star Wars cards were included in the Theory 11 Bodrome brick box, which means you get 12 decks, so I got all four of those cards, as well as two Neil Patrick Harrison decks, 
and two medallion decks. $120 worth right there, but I'm pretty sure you get a discount if you do the build your own brick box. And I think it's like $100. And I also got these high Victorian cards at a thrift store, they were only 50 cents instead of $10. A great deal. Now granted, when we found these cards, all the cards were all over the table, like in a mess. And we actually had to find all 52 cards and the jokers before we could actually buy the deck. I got the Lord of the Rings cards by 311 as a Christmas gift this year. Now all monarchs that I have and all artisan cards that I have, except for the gold artisan I bought, and I have two of each of those decks, except for the black artisans I only have one of. Now for the gold artisans, I found one deck at Target and another deck I got as a Christmas gift. And also all Riffle Shuffle decks are about $10. Now the Sirius B V3s I got for I think $11 or $12 because I had to buy them off Amazon. And I also got the Sirius B V2 from Amazon, but I think it was still like $10 or $11. And for the three Play Dead decks I got for Christmas. And if you buy a bundle of three, I think it's only about $27 instead of $30. I also have this deck by Elephant Playing Cards, and I got these as a Christmas gift as well that I had asked for. These were about $10. Now also about $10 are these waterproof Aces High clear plastic cards, and they're my only plastic deck. Now what's funny is one time I was taking a profile picture out of the snow because I'm weird like that, and at first I used paper cards because I forgot someone had given me these plastic cards for Christmas, so I actually ruined a deck of Tally Hoes. Well, actually the deck was already ruined, but I ruined it even further by not using the plastic waterproof cards. Increasing the price a little bit more, we have the Z deck by December Boys. I got these for $11. However, I think they're actually worth about $15. This is a really nice box and you get four green screen cards. I also have the Fellowship of the Ring cards by King's Wild Project. These are about $12. I have two decks of red wheels that I bought from Amazon, pretty sure for $12 each. And I have the Sears latest, which is worth about $12, but I also got this from 52 cards on Black Friday, so they were about $10 when I bought them. If you want good card deals, 52 cards has them. Also about $12 are these Ghostbuster cards. Now I got these as just a random gift from my dad, who of course knows I like cards and that they would be a good addition to my collection. However, one day I was planning to film a video of these and I put them down on a wet spot, but I didn't know it was wet and it just rained before. So now they're kind of water damaged on the edges, but still quite usable. Also about $12 are the cards in this little deck carrier, white and red striped cards. They're kind of thick and cardboardy, but they can still fan and their handling isn't terrible. And of course they come in this little nice card case. I was going to make a video on this, but it just never happened. <laughs> now I'm not sure if the Fournier playing cards are worth $12 still, because I think it's an older deck by Lee Asher, but that's the only price I could find. Now I actually got these from a Cardvolution 11 deck giveaway, and I'll talk more about that here in a bit when I go over some other cards. Now these cards don't handle too well in my opinion, still of course usable. Now increasing the price from $12 to $12.50, we have Rise playing cards. Now I only bought one Rise Magic deck at the price of $12.50, but because they took a very long time to ship, I think Chandler felt bad and to compensate for that, he actually sent two more decks of Rise playing cards V2. So that was very nice. So now I have three decks of Rise playing cards V2. And when I bought Rise V2, I bought one deck of Rise V1, which was on sale at the time, so it was actually $8, but I also got two extra one of those for free. However, around the same time that Rise playing cards were shipping, I also bought three more decks from SoCal playing cards because they're on sale for $6. And so all of that left me with six decks of Rise V1 and three decks of Rise V2. Next, I got these metallic B cards, which are actually shiny, and I got two of these I believe these are about $13 each, but that's a really cool kind of foiling. These were also a Christmas gift. And these are Illusionist Cohort playing cards. Now these were donated to a thrift shop that my grandfather worked at, but they didn't want them. So my grandfather took them and gave them to me. And these cards are actually used, but they still handle very well. And I also like the marking system on these cards. It's also my first Illusionist deck. 
But anyway, the price of these is about $13 after doing a Google search. And finally, also $13, are these bicycle the Fae cards, which I was not expecting because it's the bicycle deck. I got two of these this year for Christmas. Next up are these Eyecatcher Velvet playing cards. Now, these cost me about $15 on Amazon, and I bought two of them. I've made some videos with these cards. I really like them. Be sure to watch those videos if you haven't already. Also, $15 are the Mint playing cards. These are the Cucumber Edition. I actually won these from a Mint giveaway on Instagram. Of course, I made a video on them, so be sure to check that out. And I also have Orbit V8 that I got as a Christmas gift last year. These are about $15. I also got these Axolotl playing cards or Shalot playing cards. They're worth $18, but I got them on sale for $14. And I got two of them, one for me and one for a friend. Moving on to the really hype cards. So starting with Fontaine, I have two holographic decks. Now one of them I got at pre-order for about $15. But this one, um, you might be able to tell that the box is crushed. But I got this for $10 because the crushed box from X decks. And I also got Seafoam Fontaine, which I'm pretty sure is about $20 now. But I got these for $10 because the corner of the box was a little crushed as well. Now these Anyone decks are a little bit more expensive now, but both of these I got for $20 and $21 from SoCal. And moving on, I also have multiple of these Karshi Touch Pulse decks. Now the first two decks of these I got were from Amazon. They were in a two pack, I think for $25, which means $12.50 each. And I got a deck for Christmas one year. I'll have to look up what price these are because apparently I forgot to look that up. If I were to take a guess, these might be $30 to $40. And I also got two Karshi Touch Derive collection decks. The first Karshi Touch Derive deck I got was the Honey, which was about $15. And I also got Pepper from a Rise Magic giveaway, and it's signed. But at the time, it would have been about $15 to $20 as well. Now they're probably worth $25 to $30. Now the last $20 deck is weirdly $20. First off, it didn't come in a box, so I made a nice little box for it. But basically, it's just this magic deck that's got a double facer and a double backer. This was $20, and basically it's a deck of cards and a card magic book. This entire collection was $20. Technically, the cards cost $20 because that's how much you had to pay to get them. At $21 are these David Blaine Blue Black Lions. I also won these from a Rise Magic giveaway. Yeah, these are cool cards, cool box as well. I have the Verts Fall Winter 2017 cards. I got these for Christmas as well. At the time, I think they were $25, but now I think they're about $30. I also got Jerry's Nuggets Gilded, which I think are still $25. Cool red gilding on the edges. Now it kind of ruins the handling, but it looks really cool. And also they kind of smell cherry to me, so I call these my Cherry Jerry's. And now we're on to Holographic Memento Mori. This is the deck that I usually say was the most expensive deck I own because they're about $40. Holographic all around. So the price for the most part makes sense. Now I got these as a birthday gift last year. And now finally onto the really expensive cards that I actually got from that giveaway I mentioned earlier from Cardvolution. I am very lucky to have won this almost brick box signed by Dan and Dave from Carvolution because not only did I get this cool brick box, but of course came with 11 very rare decks. Now one of them I gave away to a friend, so I don't have it anymore. But besides the Fournier, a lot of the decks are a lot more on the expensive side. So the new Bicycle Fanbacks, the 999 Steamboat, the Fulton's Chinatown, and Dan and Dave's Smoke and Mirrors V6 are all about $40 to this day. The Magic Con 2014 deck is about $50. And the original Fantastique cards are about $74. And I got two of them. And one is signed, by the way. Also, these cards are not in new deck order. But if they were in order, you would be able to riff the top of the cards and see those two things separate. And I did not realize that whenever I first got this deck. And finally, the only price I could find for these B Erdene special card was $90. So yeah, this is the total amount of money that I have spent. And this is the total amount of money that was spent. And this is the total amount of money that the cards are worth today. Okay, so this video was not made for me to like completely show off and just be a jerk. I was just curious and I maybe you guys would want to know too. 
So yeah, I think it's safe to say I have a lot of cards. This is the number of cards that I have. Now take that number and subtract one because I am doing a giveaway. Here's an impromptu giveaway for the Bicycle Stargazer deck. So as I mentioned, I bought this deck solely for the purpose of giving it away, but clearly I haven't given it away yet and I bought it a while ago. So I think it's time to give it away, even though we haven't really hit a milestone. Still, thank you for over 1,100 subscribers. Nice to see that we're still growing with my lack of good posting. So to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, of course. Also, comment down below, hashtag stars and cards, and that will let me know that you're actually entering the giveaway. And if you want a second entry, you can also follow me on Instagram at echo underscore ev. Now, if you do this, be sure to comment down below your Instagram handle so that I can make sure that you are following me before I give you your second entry. But yeah, that's all you have to do to enter. Winner will be announced next week, and I will do my best to ship worldwide. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you next time.